the very last question. This is what we concentrated on this year. This is what we have been doing with you because we know trigonometry forms the biggest part of maths paper two. So we had our stats. Then we had our analytical geometry plus the circles. Then we had our transformation geometry. And your last questions in the paper is your trigonometry. And we've done trigonometry. A lot of lessons we spend on trigonometry. And I just highlighted the six things that you need to concentrate on. Remember, you have to go through all your trigonometry. But this is what we need to know. I have the sketches. You know, the sketches is when you sketch it in the correct quadrant. Reduction formulas. Your identities. Your trig equations. Sin, cos and area formula. And the tree graphs. Come I quickly just focus on the sketches. Okay. How do I know when I must draw a sketch? If I give you, say, um, 4 cos theta minus 3 equal to naught, Then you're immediately going to say that the cos of theta is 3 quarters. But now you know I must draw a sketch. Cos is positive grade 12s, so cos can be sketched in the first or in the fourth quadrant. All stations to Cape Town. So you're either going to sketch it in the first or in the fourth quadrant. How are you supposed to know? We have to give you a restriction. We have to say, say, theta is an element from 0 to 180 degrees. So if it says that theta is between 0 and 180, of course I can't draw my sketch here because this is 0 to 90, 90 to 180, 180 to 270, 270 to 360. Okay, so please, this question goes where? Cos of theta is positive. Where do I sketch it in the first quadrant. Can you see everybody at Khan going in the fourth quadrant? You have adjacent over hypotenuse and you work out this side using Pythagoras. Is that good? So that is your first type of sketch that you can get. The second type of sketch is if they say the sin of 27 degrees is equal to P, grade 11s. You also do this in trigonometry. The sin of 27 is equal to P. You immediately know that you have to get a sketch because they're going to say find in terms of P. This is your keyword. Find in terms of P. Then you know, oh my goodness, in terms of P, I have to draw a sketch. Where is the sketch going to go, Matrix? Grade 11s, where is it going to go? In the first quadrant. Why in the first quadrant? 27 degrees is an acute angle. P over 1, opposite over high, hypotenuse. Can you see that? And then you immediately work out this using Pythagoras. This is 1 minus P squared. And you fall in that this angle on top is 63. And you will be able to find absolutely anything. Those are your sketches. Everybody, if you go to the slide, you need to know your sketches. Your reduction formulas is 180 minus theta, 90 minus theta. Your identities, everybody know your double angles. Know your compound angles. We've done that with you. Know all your trig equations, all the different types that you can get. Remember your sin, cos, and area formula. Everybody, cos formula when three sides are given, three sides are given, or two sides and an included angle. And then you have your trig graphs. I wrote here that trig is plus minus 50 marks. Quite a lot of marks. And grade 12's a mouthful. An absolute mouthful. I had about not even an hour to go through the overview of Maths Paper 1 and Maths Paper 2. Let's just recap. Maths Paper 1, 28th of October, Friday. Maths Paper 2, 31st of October, the Monday. Okay, so I want to wish you well. You're going to sit with your books. A lot of students say, oh, I'm only going to study after valedictory. Nonsense. You are studying now. And I want, I want to wish you everything of the best. And I want to wish you well. And I want to say that you can call on the man above to help you only if you have put in the effort. 
only if you have sat with your books. It has been an absolute pleasure. It has been so nice to represent these um, lessons to you. I enjoyed it thoroughly, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Welcome and well done, everybody. And I hope you're going to have awesome papers and that you're going to do well. I know you're going to do well. Good luck to all of you.